So these are natural cave, uh, and cave entrances are all here. But like uh, throughout tens and twenties years, they are going to carve little by little and created all this structure. So these pillars are not installed. It's not a structure that they carry in. These are actually in together with their rock cut foundation. So um, you need this kind of natural environment to create the rock cut cave, uh, but people in unified Shilla, they heard of Indian rock cut cave temples in Ajanta, and they wanted to replicate it in their own country. So that is how they created. But in Mount Toham, this is not the natural rock cut cave area. So what they created was um, it's, it's assembling, uh, it's assemblage of different stone blocks. So in a way, it's pretty similar uh, to building uh, colossal tombs um, in the um, tomb park. Uh, so every piece of uh, stone is cut um, and uh, they are going to be installed somehow uh, so that it creates this type of man-made cave. So if you see the structure, again, it is a little bit of a shoe shape. Once you go in, it is round inside. Um, so their um, inspiration is a structure like this. Or you can see another example like this. They didn't want the square uh, temple. They wanted the horseshoe shape because these are more ancient uh, and close to um, the, uh, the earlier uh, history of Buddha. I mean, earlier history of uh, Buddhist monuments. So um, some of the uh, temples in Ajanta, if you go in, uh, the black circle, it means there is a statue or a stupa where you can walk around it. Uh, here too, there is something right in the uh, center, then you can walk around it. Um, so that idea was applied here. So there is a main statue built here so that uh, the priest usually stand right here uh, and then venerate it. But um, if you want to participate in veneration, people can come in and then walk around it like this. Um, so this is the structure of Sakuram. So this is the floor plan. And then if you see the height of uh, it, it, it is like um, uh, they created from the ground floor, they in, you know, installed uh, 10 disciples of Shakyamuni, like the 10 students, um, and then a little bit more accompanying uh, celestial guardians on the top. And then they created a dome. So dome is also an important idea. In uh, Korean architectural tradition, there is no idea of dome. Uh, we've seen this in Bukuria cave, and it looked a little bit more like a pyramid-shaped uh, ceiling structure. But um, in unified Shilla dynasty, they wanted to create a really round dome. Uh, and inspiration is, is coming from Central Asia. So uh, people, like the Buddhist pilgrims of unified Shilla, they not only went to India, uh, they went to um, Buddhist towns in Central Asia because they go through Central Asia and arrive in India, so in, in the middle. But if you read Yi Sung Mi's essay and Kang Wu Bang's essay, you are going to learn that the design of it is not an ordinary calculation. It came out of a very uh, complicated proportion, ideal proportion. And this is, um, what is it, the uh, results of a careful study of Indian philosophy and Indian mathematics. So um, the common structure of main, main Buddha right here in the middle, I mean, it's not in the center, why did you put a little bit toward the back? There is a reason for it. Um, so there is a hexagon inside, right? And then somehow the center of uh, that uh, statue should be somewhere inside uh, based on this type of proportion, 5.2, 5.2, uh, and then more, 
number uh, and so that when you stand in front of it um, with, with your um, viewpoint you will have a wholesome view of the main statues or if you see the proportion of main statue how big does it have to be you know is it can it be this big or can it be this big but if you see this um, it's again calculated this way like a 12 feet 12 feet um, and then somehow uh, it is calculated like this so that it, it must be this size um, and then that 12 is repeated for the width of the structure as well so if you see the modeling of the Sakuram, this is a small scale model in uh, Gyeongju National Museum. Uh, you, you see that uh, a priest is standing right here. This is the focal point. Then you can have a whole view of the main statue. And then you need a little bit of light, right? If you don't have any light, uh, then inside is really dark, especially the, the face of um, statue so they open the little window here uh, so that sunlight can go through uh, these wheels um, and then uh, dome structure was very difficult to make um, so um, if you see uh, the walls of Sakuram without the dome structure you can see that it's composed of many different pieces but again, they didn't use cement or any adhesives. Do you see this nail? So they used the iron nail in order to combine these one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pieces of uh, walls together. Um, and then the other parts were precisely cut. And then they again hold each other without any glue or materials. And the number of pieces are also very significant, like eight pieces versus um, you know, 10 disciples, plus there are two guardians on each side. And then you have more guardians on either side. You know, these are uh, important number symbolism in Buddhism. And then you have you know, slightly above uh, level then you are going to put the dome on top of it. But dome structure was difficult, right? So you have the wall area, and then you have uh, uh, right above the bend before you build, a, build um, the, the dome. And then finally, you are going to build the dome. But it, according to Samguk Yusa, uh, we read uh, about difficulty. They never done this kind of massive round dome structure. So it was very hard. Um, so again, they put these large stones around uh, concentric rings. And then um, you also need this type of buttress uh, blocks. These are extra long. If you see um, this structure, you see like a long uh, pillars sticking out of it. Um, you need these periodically throughout so that they can hold massive um, upper structures and then the weight from small stones as well as uh, the, the, the clay on top of the level. Um, so you need this type of uh, blocks, buttresses. But then um, they were able to go all the way on the top, but placing the center stone, this ceiling cap, like a capped stone, on the top was very hard. It was very difficult. So that according to Samgung Yusa, there is a story that um, over many failures, Kim Dae-sung was frustrated, chief architect was frustrated, uh, they were concerned a lot. Um, and uh, so um, let, let's, let's say the day before, uh, previous day, they tried to hoist that capstone, but it fell down and then it broke into three pieces. That's what Samgung Yusa says. But then the next morning, miraculously, uh, the capstone was in place. And they said that it probably uh, the uh, protection uh, by one of these divine uh, guardians uh, called Indra. They think it's maybe. Um, the Buddhist, the, I mean, uh, Hindu and Buddhist, the, the Indra who could have helped. 
uh, builders to put the capstone. So anyhow, it's, it's complete and it's made of stone.